You're not going to that debate, are you? So I'll let it be known next week. What's going on with Hunter Biden? It turns out he worked for Burisma, took in all of this tremendous amounts of money, and then the laptop from hell was discovered. Biden gets Merrick Garland to get Jack Smith to do these investigations of you. Deranged. He's like a deranged human being. We'll I watch this guy. Talk, yeah, what's his motivation? What's I going think, on? I think he's just a sick guy. Well, former President Donald Trump says he's not ruled out participating in the first GOP primary debate, saying it's a matter of the American people wanting intelligence from a president. His official decision will come next week. Also going on the attack, targeting what he says is a two-tier justice system. As investigations into the Biden family's foreign business dealings continue to reveal backdoor deals and millions in bank transactions. It was a great interview and sit down with Eric Bowling, uh, folks. And yeah, will he debate? Debating the debate, uh, just one of the things Eric got into with him. Uh, we were watching this this morning, a drama unfolding in the Trump Mar-a-Lago documents case here. Yes, the arraignment for the property manager, Carlos de Oliveria, was postponed after he arrived in court today. He was unable to enter a plea in the case because he still hasn't secured a Florida-based attorney. Um, this, of course, is new charges brought by special counsel Jack Smith, including him as a co-conspirator. Also, former Trump aide, this man, Walt Nauta, appeared today for a second arraignment. He pleaded not guilty to conspiring with former President Trump. Now, Trump was not in court today. He had waived his notice of appearance. He pled not guilty to that superseding indictment in a filing just last week. The former president also, while he was sitting down with our Eric Bowling, uh, talked a little bit more about his legal battles. Take a listen. They've weaponized everything. They, uh, it's called election interference. And I don't think they're getting away with the game because since they've done this, our poll numbers have gone up. The people of this country know it, but we have a crooked guy. We have an incompetent man. I would have never said that, but when they did that, then you sort of say, let's take the gloves off. All right, joining us to discuss this case now, former NYPD Commissioner Bernie Carrick. Bernie, as always, great to have you in. Thank you. Excuse my attire, guys. I'm out at a range down in Georgia. That's okay. That's all right. uh, we appreciate you carving out a little time here because there's a significant yeah. uh, statement that we want to get your reaction to. You came on uh, with us last week talking about how you had handed over documents. You were uh, giving them over to special counsel Jack Smith, um, you know, basically to highlight what was being done in the investigations. And now your attorney has come out. I know he's quoted in CBS News, but other uh, reports possibly saying that he does not believe Bernie that Jack Smith reviewed what you handed over before the indictment. That seems concerning to a lot of folks, that claim. Yeah, well, uh, you know, we turned over the uh, we turned over the documents um, a week, um, a, a week before, uh, you know, the, the president was indicted, I guess. And uh, um, and then I guess five or six days after the indictment, they were inquiring about the documents, and that led us to believe they hadn't even seen them yet. Um, I mean, it is concerning to me, especially after being there and seeing what I was able to give them and talk to them about. Um, you know, I, I don't understand how they indicted the president at all, uh, given what I know. Uh, but, um, you know, obviously we'll see where this is going to go. Well, yeah. you, I was going to say you met with investigators from from Smith's team on Monday as part of, of all of this. And I was going to ask, what, what can you tell us? you know, about that meeting, what came out of it, yeah, you, know, you know, what, what details guys, can you share? You know what, John, there, there were uh, really no surprises. Um, mm. and they wanted to know where we got the information, how we got the information, um, how, what we were able to confirm. Um, you know, a lot of the information that we conduct or gathered during the investigations was not conclusive. We didn't have subpoena power. We didn't have a lot of time. We did. We were understaffed, non-funded. Um, but I, I think they got a good grasp on on how we collected what we did and that there was a good faith effort by the legal team to put together as much evidence for legislators and for later investigators, if possible. Um, I, I think they get it. I think they understood it. So, but, you know, a lot of lawyers, and we've had plenty of them on the air, so they're up against not only Jack Smith, but the
the D.C. jury, as you know, and this Judge Tukon uh, with ties to a firm that once employed Hunter Biden here, um, run by a you know huge Democratic donor. So I guess what you know people are concerned about is will they take any of this into account? It's going and, and lawyers do say this will be a hard case uh, for Jack Smith, though, if you're talking about intent and there's the First Amendment issues, Bernie. But the D.C. jury, some are saying he's he's not in a good place no matter what. Well, you know what, well, Bianca, he's not in a good place no matter what anyway. Uh, you know, I look, as somebody that's on the inside of this and watching it from the inside, so to speak, it's a conspiracy by the Democratic Party. That's what this is. It's a conspiracy to take him out, and they're going to do it through every and any prosecutor that has the courage to step up and bring charges. I don't think these charges should have ever been brought in the first place. The New York charges are a joke. The the Mar-a-Lago thing is is shouldn't have been shouldn't have happened. If you're going to do Trump, do Biden, do others. Um, and now you got this thing going on in Georgia, which is strictly political. I just think this is a massive conspiracy by the Democratic Party to take Trump out before 2024. Well, clearly, well, you're not he alone. Has, uh, the legal team and all of his defenses, and they're looking at every possible one closely, including hopefully, um, Bernie, what, what you've handed over um, to talk about what, what you guys are working on. Bernie Carrick, as always, uh, good to see you, sir. Thank you for giving us some insight on the latest in your case. Thank you, sir.